Good day and welcome to Unilac TV News. My name is Abimbola Adilaku. We begin with our own front. On Saturday, the 19th of March, the University of Lagos hosted the opening ceremony of the Nugu Games. It commenced with the calisthenics performance by the University Staff School and the University's dance team, followed by a parade led by Unilag Man o War and a procession of all the participating universities. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Oluwatoyin Ogundipe, the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Sunday Dari, the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, Pro Chancellor Prince Senator Dr. Olarinwaju Teju Osho, the Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Our Excellency Noimo Salako, Oye Dele, and many other important personalities were present. The dignitary spoke to the athletes about giving their best performance and also the importance of unity during the games and towards the nation at large. The ambience was colorful as a handful of performances was displayed, from the lighting of the torch of unity by Nuga ambassador Odoji Ogunsoya to all the artist performances and after the Nuga president Professor Stephen Amafelto recited the oath and declared the games open. The ceremony ended with a beautifully choreographed calisthenics welcoming all to Nuga Unilag 2022 and into the volleyball games. Some minutes into the volleyball game of five best of three, the Cobras from River State University kept the Admirals from University of Lagos on their toes by winning the first two sets of the game, although about two Cobra players were given a yellow card by the umpire. After a tough game, the Admirals were able to equalize after the fourth set with the excellent service, spike and block by the captain, Peace Ajayi. According to Peace, volleyball is not for the feeble hearted because there is no room to give up. She is incredibly excited that our team won the game as they have sacrificed so much. The Admirals were nothing short of joy after the fifth set of the game as they emerged as winners. But the success of the team cannot be totally explained without talking about the efforts of the Libero player, Ewa Bridgets. Moving on to the football games, Unilag football team secured two wins in group stage. The male football game began with a kick from a striker of the OOU football team. At the second half, player number 6 of Team OOU sustained an injury leading to a yellow card given to Team Unilag. The atmosphere was thick with anxiety as both teams played fervently, each trying to secure a goal. Still at the second half, yet another injury was sustained by player of Team OOU. Team Unilag finally picked up as number 17 scored an outstanding goal and the crowd went wild in celebration, chanting and cheering for the players. The game came to an end with Team Unilag winning the match with a single goal. While the female team also defeated University of Ibadan scoring 4-0. Furthermore, the stunning performance of Naomi Namdi Chinere secured the first gold medal for Team Unilag. Furthermore, the stunning performance of Naomi Unamdi Chinyere secured the first gold medal for Team Unilag. Naomi Chinyere outpaced 12 other contestants by completing the steady 5,000 meter walk race, female category, in 33 minutes 27 seconds. Abibat Adishino from the University of Ilorin came second after finishing the race in 33 minutes and 39 seconds. While Rita Odigbo, who ran for the University of Potakot, won the bronze medal at 34 minutes 44 seconds. And in education, academic technologists in federal universities are beginning a two weeks warning strike effective today, March 21st. The National Association of Academic Soft Technology, SNAT, issued the directive yesterday. The workers are protesting against alleged failure of the federal government to implement a 2009 agreement. The association directed its members to shut down all laboratories, workshops, studios and farms while the industrial action lasts. Not said it took the decision after a virtual National Executive Council neck meeting where 97.8% of its branches voted in favor of a warning strike. The president, Ibeji Unwokoma, in a statement yesterday in Abuja, directed members to begin the two weeks warning strike that ends on April 5th. And in the world of entertainment, Uloyede Eniola Stephanie is a 400 level student of the Department of Adult Education in the University of Lagos. She is an indigenous of Oshun State and an entrepreneur who creates gifts and surprises. She started a business out of her love for making people happy and of course making money. As a final year student, balancing school and work has been a lot. But Stephanie says she makes it work by setting her priority. 
to see how much of a surprise she created, check her out on Instagram at Surprisable. And that's it on Unilag TV News. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to get updates on all our videos. Now, don't forget to also follow us across all social media platforms at Unilag on TV. Many thanks for watching. My name is Abimbola Dira. Good day.